Thank you very much for staying for our Q&A session. Please welcome back to the stage Fernando Eimke, Cristian Valdeliebre, and Jaime Ramos. So we are ready for questions from the public. As you know, it is hard to see from here, so I'm just going to ask you to please keep your hands up so that we can see you. Yes, here, please go ahead. Hi, we also saw uh, duck season at the festival a few years back. You seem to have a really good understanding of that age, and I'm wondering where that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want uh, um, did everybody hear the question? No? Oh, sorry. So the question is, is a comment and um, about uh, how he seems to understand that age and where does that come from? Well, um, I don't know. I'm obsessed with, the, <laughs> with that age. But I was writing the script and it was a script about a teenager. And when I was writing, I discovered that the, the main character was the mother. So it's like a teenager of 35 years old. But she's, she's, it's a coming of age story for her too, but uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but I felt very, very happy um, um, listening to this character, to the mother's character. In, in dog season, you can see the mother like a, for two minutes, and in the next film, we saw the mother behind a curtain. So it's like a, like a Charlie Brown world, no? where the fathers are like this, and making rawr, rawr, rawr. But right now, I... I <laughs> I, I work with the mother. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I, I don't think he answered the question. <laughs> He's a producer, no, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why, why I know that world. I, I don't know, maybe I never... <laughs> it's like a Peter Pan syndrome. I don't know. I, don't know. But I enjoy it a lot, and I, I, I like to play with them in the in the set. They're very they're very fun at the set. No, uh, with a with a professional actor, it's not not so fun because um, teenagers they they don't care. No? They simply don't care, and, and they're playing all the time. And you learn from them, and that's that's wonderful to have like a like a set. Where you have, uh -huh, they're very natural, so it's great. And the actress is a professional actress; she did a lot of, of things, and it's amazing how she learned from from Lucio, from the, the teenager, how, how much Lucio learned from from Maria Jose. No, just one thing he mentioned that is interesting is that in all of the three movies, uh, all the the teenagers are non-professional actors, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah, uh, Hector did a, a great job. When you were casting for that role of Hector, were you casting for that, you know, a particular body type, or was he just the best one to see for the casting call? So the question is about uh, the casting uh, for the teenager. If he had in mind a specific uh, body type when he was in the process of um, casting. It's a very good question. And uh, it's a question that the casting director said to me, and I don't know the answer. I don't know, and, and, and the cast director really gets uh, very uh, mad with, with us, because uh, I don't know that, that who will be the, the character, and I don't want to know while I'm writing. I prefer to go to the cast process and to uh, surprise me. So it was like a, it's a one-year process, and we, know, we don't have an, a, a clear idea because um, it, it's it's better to, to, to surprise yourself, with, and you adapt to the to the real person. So it, it was, yes, in, for example, in Doc Season, the, the pizza guy. Do you remember Jaime? It, it, it was in the script. I was very very descriptive, descriptive, mm -hmm. and uh, suddenly another actor came to the cast, and I was like, no, that's not what I'm looking. And, and we saw the cast, and it, it was amazing. I adapt the film for him. <coughs> and the pizza guy from Dog Seasons is the taxi driver here. <laughs> <laughs> we invited him, but 
uh, we cut all his dialogue. <laughs> so, but, but he's on the radio. If you listen to the radio when they are going to the to the beach, the guy, the, the voices of the of the, of the characters. <laughs> I saw a hand at the very back. How old is uh, Hector, the actor, and Jasmine, the actors? Hector, fourteen, and Jasmine, seventeen. She had seventeen at that time, but but I, I think he, she she told me a lie. <laughs> really, really, yes, she did. And uh, I want a uh, uh, sixteen years old or fifteen, and yeah, and, and she she told me no, I had sixteen. Oh, okay, perfect. And uh, months ago, yes. <laughs> She grew up really fast. <laughs> yes. And that told me uh, the age. Her mother told me. Ah, but she's 18. 18? Really? <laughs> no, but that's wonderful because, because that creates a, a tension between, be, between Jasmine and Hector. It happened the same with, in, in that season. Do you remember? We, we made a, a huge cast with, with girls, and suddenly we found one. And we are like, oh, it's perfect, no? And then we did like a rehearsal, you know? and um, the guys, the two guys, are, are like, mm, mm. they know where like a new space. Uh huh. They, 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 yes. And then we searched for another girl, and we found the other girl, and the kids were like, yes. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and Hector was was the same. And you can you can you can see it when there's tension in the in the in the cast process. That's amazing. And it's, it's almost impossible to create that tension if there's not that tension between the, the, the real persons. So it's, it, it was really fun. And they suffer a lot in the, in the, sh in the shooting. They suffer a lot. But, well, the, the, guy, the, the actor didn't. He didn't care. He didn't care about anything. He was like, okay. The, he was with the, the, his underwear. No? Around Walking room. around the hotel, and he was with the bikini, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Hector, let's do the, the you know, the scene of, of the masturbation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really, really funny. And, he, and he's a, 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 the, the son of a very well-known actor from from Mexico and Spain, so he has the. The talent will I think so. Yeah, <laughs> Here. yeah go ahead. Thank you. Um, it's a wonderful relationship, mother son. It's um, a very beautiful relationship. Um, I wonder, you said that the actors learn from each other. Uh, the young man and the professional actress. I wonder if you had in mind when you cast or you talk to your actors, if they had such private, personal relationships in their lives with their children or with their parents. Um, I think it's, I don't know. I, I let you answer, but my, my question comes from a place where I think that one has to experience emotionally such a bond mm -hmm. and such an expression uh, in order to be able to understand it so deeply and profoundly as you uh, depicted it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't want to, to create a relationship, uh, mother and son. I want to create a friendship relationship. And we never rehearsed the script. Never. I just uh, read the script one time, and I said, "This is the only time you will uh, read the script. If you have any questions, do it right now. And if not, don't do it in the set." And um, we did like a interesting things. For example, we sent them to a rock concert, a very hardcore band, no, in Mexico called Molotov. It's very, very hard rock, and, and I told them, "Okay, you two go," and they they went to the to the concert, and I haven't been there, nothing. And then I asked uh, Hector, what would you like to do with your mother? And Hector was like, mm -hmm. ah, 
I, I want her to teach me how to, to drive. So they spend uh, a time, um, uh, Hector learning to drive with his mother. And it was a, a friendship relationship. It was, it was really amazing and they, they did a bonding. When we saw the, the call back, because we had a, a, a huge problem because we found, I don't know, a mother, but the mother m must uh, match with the son. So when we found them, we made a call back and it was amazing, amazing. And it was like, oh, it's mother and son. I, I was convinced that they were mother and son, and it was not the cliche of a mother and son. It was very, very special. And they played a lot in the film, during the film. Maria Rene, she was very, very supportive with, with Lucio, and they played a lot, and they, they put them nicknames, and they went on, on weekends to, to eat, to dinner, so it was, it was great. And Hector, and told his mother, his real mother, he told her that um, Maria Rene, she doesn't have kids. So, and she said, and, and she knows how to be a mother, and she doesn't have kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> his mother was like, oh. I don't think he answered the question. <laughs> no, because the question, the question is, is different. I mean, you're talking about the mother son relationship, which is very important, but what the lady asked is, um, do you think that Maria René in her life and Lucio in his life um, have experienced this type of very close relationship on, the, on their personal life, you know, not on the set? Not yeah, yeah. That's the question. But <laughs> Maria René, no, because she doesn't have kids. And uh, with Lucio, no, but with Lucio, that's for sure. And she read the script, he read the, the script, and was like, that's like my mother and I. That's it. it's, that is what's happening, no? All the, the, the fights and the, the, yes, all that Thank thing. you, but the story in general was very interesting, nevertheless. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. It's like, that's, you, you have to that's our team. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. Um, I was here 10 years ago and saw the duck season and, and loved it, and I really love this film too. Um, are we going to have to wait 10 years to see another one? <laughs> yes. So the question for those of you who couldn't hear it is uh, if we're going to have to wait 10 years again to see his next film. Nine years. <laughs> we, we did uh, another film uh, four years ago, five years ago, called Lake Tahoe. And um, yes, but it's, it's a long time. I don't want to wait so much. <laughs> it's a long, long time. So we will hurry up with the next one. But you never know. We'd love to see you back. <laughs> Sorry? We'd love to see you back. Ah, yes, and, I, and we would love to be here in Toronto again. It's amazing. We're really, really, really happy. I'm very proud. Do we have time for one more question? Yes, go ahead. What was uh, your budget for this film? It's about uh, $2, $2 million, basically. That's an easy question. We don't have time for another one. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is it to raise two million dollars to make a film in Mexico? Oh, there's actually quite a bit of uh, of new system. There's a one particular fund that has been created uh, and it's been working for the last six years called the Ficine. If you see at the beginning of the credits, it shows there. And it is kind of the reason that we're producing now about 70 movies a year in Mexico and that you're seeing a lot of new movies and there's a couple of here in Toronto which are finance with, with this mechanism that it gives you up to 80% of the budget, so it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, we're, there's a big support for Mexican movies from the Mexican government right now. Uh, would you like to close, like, uh, telling us a little bit about um, where is the film going after Toronto? Are you going to other festivals? Are you opening in, in Mexico? Uh, the next thing is San Sebastian. We are in competition in two weeks in San Sebastian for the prize called Concha de Oro. And then we are in the New York Film Festival uh, about two days later. Then we're in competition in Morelia. Um, 
which is really today the most important Mexican film festival. Yeah, Fernando has kind of a retrospective of the three movies in the New York Film Festival. Um, you can see, if you go to New York, you can see the three of them. Um, and then we're, there's a lot of invitations coming in and we're kind of deciding. It's always an issue of, you know, do you want to do a festival or do you want to sell the movie? And so those things are working on right now. But we want to release the film not so late in Mexico because because it happened that you you go into into festivals that it's great but just you can spend like a, a year and, and then all the the energy of a festival goes like this and when you release it's like you know, and the press doesn't care anymore if it's very late so we hope to release early well it is a pleasure having you three here thank you very much and thank you all for coming